The president signaled social media giants should brace for tough actions from his administration as he traded censorship stories with a crowd of conservatives. And demonstrating tensions between those conservatives and the mainstream media, there was even a scuffle in the Rose Garden. It happened as the conservatives at the summit waited alongside the White House press court for the president to make a statement. You are a punk. You're not a journalist. You're a punk. Go home. Go home. Hey, Gorka, get a job. An explosion at the end of a day where conservative activists, thinkers, and influencers enjoyed an open and sympathetic ear from the president. Together you reach more people than any television broadcast network by far, not even close. Lila Rose shared how her group, Live Action, has been permanently barred from Pinterest, had viral videos buried on YouTube, and that's not all. We have been for four years banned from doing any advertising on Twitter, and they told us that in order to reinstate our accounts, we'd have to stop calling for the defunding of Planned Parenthood and stop sharing our pro-life content. Stories like hers are common. The Daily Signal published a video last year with a pediatrician talking about the dangers of giving puberty blockers to kids. The video went viral on Facebook. In fact, it reached 70 million views when all of a sudden it disappeared. And we, we took our case to Facebook. We said, why did you take this down off of your platform? It took Facebook a little while to get back to us, but eventually they did restore the video and apologize for doing that. A Hill TV American Barometer survey in December found 58% of voters think social networks are unfair to conservatives. The same poll found Generation Z, folks born in the mid-1990s and early 2000s, are the only age group that believes social media companies are not biased against conservatives. Missouri Republican Senator Josh Hawley says enough is enough. Google, Facebook, Twitter, they've gotten these special deals from government. They've gotten a special giveaway from government. They're treated unlike anybody else. If they want to keep their special deal, here's the bargain. They have to quit discriminating against conservatives. You agree with that? No more. Senator Hawley has introduced a bill that requires these big tech companies to prove their algorithms and content removal practices are politically neutral. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington.